Probably saw his first gig in London, which was at the Bag of Nails, when we were just wow. there one night having a drink, and he just ambled up on the stage in that <laughs> manner he had. Wow. And he was just a beautiful guy, and he just plugged, turned, wound up the marshals, and uh, just pl started playing very loud. And we were there, and the next time he played the Bag of Nails, then, then it was more homage. Yeah. People knew he was going to be there, so I remember one night, me, Townsend, and Eric, we're all there in the audience, kind of going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this is good. His tastes were exactly what I would want in another musician, you know, like the blues and uh, and the way, where it came from. And, and also, he had this fantastic imagination for what you could do with it. Friday, they'd released Sgt. Pepper. Mm -hmm. The record company had released it on the Friday night. Now, Jimmy had listened to it Friday, Saturday, it was that weekend. And on the Sunday night, he opened with Sgt. Pepper. He learned it. He was a great influence on me and uh, part of my growing up, you know, and like to, to I know a lot of people idolize that guy and, and think, you know, think that he was the beginning and end of it, but I actually knew him and I mean that was a, a fantastic privilege position to be in, you know, to be able to relax with that guy and talk about things other than music. This is Johnny B. Good. I mean, this guy is completely out there. I mean, I've never heard anybody play electric guitar like that. There's no one, there's no one that even as, uh, there's no one even in the same building with that guy, in the same level. There's no one. He was not arrogant in the least, and he was really, he was just a great guy, the kind of person you want to know, you know? Very self-effacing about his music, but then when he picked up that guitar, you know, he's just a, a monster.